Looking to buy an ultra modern masterpiece in Stain City? Welcome, good afternoon. This is Xavier with Luxury Homes Johannesburg. Today we are back in the gorgeous lifestyle estate where we are about to tour this stunning home behind us. Now, specs on the house. This is a five bedroom, seven bathroom, five garage home. Without further ado, Marusha. Thank you very much. This is probably the most unusual way to start our tour, but uh, we felt it is so important to show you how gorgeous this house is. So we are now going to walk the, basically the length of the house so we can see its glory from all sides. The house is quite elevated. You can see the stand is high up and what they've done is they've spread the house beautifully like a butterfly and uh, it gives you the views of the golf course and as well as everyone who drives on uh, this street can also see the beauty of the house. So the entire house is on a corner stand. You have a green belt on the one side. It is on a quiet street and everything is capitalizing on the views. So the windows uh, facing the golf course, as well as windows on the side here, they look out onto the green belt. But you can see, for instance, downstairs, this is your study. We're going to see it from inside and uh, you can open the door and enjoy the breeze and the view of the trees immediately across from, from you. The house has four garages. So we're walking past two of the garages right now and the other two are on the other side. Plus there is a toy garage. So there's a fifth garage. Super impressive entrance. So from the back of the house where we've just been with the entertainment area, We've now walked to the front of the house with all the garages, space for your guests, and of course, a breathtaking uh, entrance with a bridge over the stunning water feature. You can hear it as well as see it. So the water feature immediately invites you into the space. This is now dusk. It's almost six o'clock, the sun is setting, so the soft lighting uh, also brings out the beauty of the house and it shows you how many windows we have and how much natural light we are getting already. But what we also want to showcase to you is the mood lighting that we see throughout the space. So from the entrance, double volume entrance, we've walked into the one of the lounge areas. We have three in the space. This is a massive space very unusually shaped so it will be an absolute dream for any designer to come and place the couches in such a way that you can incorporate the kitchen and entertaining plus also have a look at the amazing sunset that is literally right across from you i think we'll point out the sunset several times as we go because the house lends itself really to this beauty and to the view so from the lounge area, just want to point out, we have just a semi open plan dining room. And this here is the formal dining room space. Super unusual light, light fixture here. And we have the windows throughout the space. So again, the view from the big window on the one side it's literally just like a like a picture frame and then we have pocket windows across as well to bring uh, additional light as well as the breeze in summertime there's also a serving counter on the one side so of course we expect you to have big parties and you need to have a lot of counter space we've now stepped into the kitchen and the family room space so they have designed a table here that can seat six to seven, eight people even. And uh, this would be your everyday um, seating area right next to your kitchen, massive countertop. If I was to measure, I'm guessing about, I would say just under four meter in length with a ton of cupboard space on both sides, the gas top as well as built-in ovens here. And of course, a lot of cupboard space and we have the high ceilings but what they've done is they've also built these very interesting recesses as well as the strip lighting so again it just 
makes this house super unique and super interesting. We've got also a walk-in pantry with the tinted glass and plenty of space inside. And from the kitchen, you step into, these are kind of the service areas. There is a separate laundry room as well as a separate scullery section. And from there, straight into the garage space. Here is the two garages plus the solar batteries. In this day and age in South Africa, we absolutely need solar. And then you've got the fifth garage, which is the toy garage, you call it. Beautiful, beautiful open plan entertainment area. And like you said, it all opens up onto that right there in front of us. I mean, stunning. I think we're I going think. to enjoy even more of the sunset as it continues going further down the horizon. Uh, just to point out here, there is a wood burning fireplace right here. There is also air conditioning throughout the house and you don't have to worry about your bill because there is solar. Toilet number one, so we've got two guest toilets here. So there's a toilet here as well as space under the stairs. Now we're walking, we're literally just across from the entrance where we came in from and we're walking into the second entertainment space. And this is really two massive rooms that are open plan into one. So where I'm standing now would be the couch facing the big TV uh, in front of me. And you would sit, you would enjoy watching TV. You could even turn this into a bit of a movie theater style. And what I personally imagine right here is like a games room, maybe a pool table. I could even put a table tennis table here, but I would put a space here or design a space where your friends and family can all congregate and not only enjoy the space, but once again, enjoy the absolutely fantastic view. And both these uh, two, rooms really open out onto an open patio area which in itself flows into the covered patio area we are on a large stand here so together with being a corner stand you have space in the garden and they've also designed it in a very interesting way so you have different spaces in the garden you could go for, uh, lower down, maybe kids can play in the grass, or you can enjoy the pool area, double volume, and in fact, probably more than double volume because the, the, the ceilings here are so high. And we've got the built-in bar area here with the braai section. Everything flows into the house from all sides. And again, the view. And as the sun is setting further, can you feel how cozy the house itself starts to feel? Beautiful, very nice, inviting, warm. Yeah, imagine the parties here. So I suggest we head upstairs. There are more rooms downstairs to look at, but let's first have a look at the family bedrooms. Just pointing out as we go, they've put windows, literally every opportunity of the house. We have these very light, modern chandeliers. They feel like they're floating on air just above the staircase. Another very big one just ab suspended above the entrance hall and the double volume. And now we're entering, it's almost like a seating area or maybe a quiet reading area just outside of the main bedroom. I want to point out also they've uh, put skylights as well, so as much natural light as possible. And let's start with the main bedroom. I love this space. Once again, they're capitalizing on the view. So just look at the view from your bedroom. You have the entire estate of Stain City spread out in front of you, the golf course, we're looking at the sunset again, and you definitely want to see that from your bed. So, a really well positioned room. We do have another fireplace here, and we have air cons. Air cons throughout the house, all the bedrooms, and um, of course in the living space as well. 
The bedroom also opens onto this stunning upstairs, I would call it a patio because it's covered as well. So we have the skylights, but this uses the same roofing that goes all the way across the patio downstairs. So it's a very dramatic look. What I also like is those stone clad columns that we just see here and there that provide some privacy, but at the same time, they just add drama and architectural delight to the senses. Well said. <laughs> That's a new one. Yes. <laughs> a walk-in closet and all the kitchen, the kitchen and all the cabinetry is easy life kitchen. So top quality throughout and very modern, light color, touch of wood just to soften the look a little bit. Beautiful big closet. And then we step into the full ensuite main bathroom with the beautiful freestanding bath, double shower. I think this must become compulsory in a big house these days, a double shower. I really like the look of it. And I like the fact that it has a window as well, so you can air it and uh, um, just get the breeze in summertime. So let's go on to bedroom number two upstairs. There are five in total. So bedroom number two, pretty much, I would say even bigger than the main bedroom. Just a very, again, different configuration. Each room in this house is different and unique. What you've got here is like a study nook area, or you could even make this a TV room area. Then you have your space for your bed that will be positioned right here. And look at the ceiling, a super high ceiling at a slope. And then this bedroom has its own balcony looking out onto the green belt and uh, pretty much into the tree line. Ensuite bathroom. All of the bedrooms ensuite bathrooms. Super high ceilings and the mood lighting throughout. And I like the fact that they're using the wood floors, but it's really a very modern look with um, the color also on the walls. It's a very soft grayish color. So it all complements very nicely with the white and a bit of earthiness of the stone clad uh, feature walls here and there. What I've entered now is the pyjama lounge upstairs. So we already had one reflection area. Now we have a pyjama lounge right here. Again, with access to two balconies, in fact. Again, with the aircon, and again, with the super high ceiling and the mood lightning. And of course, the view of the golf course. Stunning. The light is becoming very, very nice at this time. Look at this. Guys, what do you think so far? Any questions? Drop them in the comments below. And you can see how the house is spread in a very interesting fashion just to capture the view, nature, and the stunning skies. You're now walking into bedroom number three. Another very generous bedroom. It helps to have furniture, but sometimes it's also nice to imagine what you would do with a specific space. So what they've done here is they've uh, done the cupboard space on the one side, the ensuite bathroom, and a full view window that basically takes your eye out into the sunset, and then access to a balcony that you can reach from the other, uh, from the adjacent room as well and then everyone can just meet here in the balcony and again check out what's happening downstairs and enjoy life in Stain City. But first let's see the ensuite bathroom and let's now head for the last one. What is nice is that each bathroom is in line and in style with the other. We've got a walk-in linen closet right here. Really ample size. For a big house, I guess you need that. And now we're stepping into the fourth bedroom upstairs. Another massive room. And this is one of the rooms that 
you enjoy looking at from the street, from outside, with the super unique edges and glass that you, that you see pretty much from the two sides of the house because we have a window here and a super interesting corner window just above your makeup station here next to the cupboard space. This bedroom is the size of a bedroom and a lounge area and again this one has even higher ceiling than the other bedroom that we saw definitely four meter plus and then an ensuite bathroom as well and plenty of cupboard space what do you think of these rooms so far beautiful very very spacious I love the high ceiling, you know that. I think that's such a nice benefit of bedrooms that makes it extra, extra in demand just by having the sheer size of these bedrooms. And of course, the fact that light, light, light views, every single room seems to have plenty of those. Look at your natural indigenous tree line. And of course, density is called a parkland for a reason. There is 50% parks in Stain City. Beautiful, look at that. And while we're now heading for the downstairs rooms that we yet to see, what we have in Stain City is an absolutely gorgeous lagoon. We have restaurants. It's a really a family environment. A ton of parks, more than any other estate. And I know the estate, so I speak absolutely with authority on that. Of course, there's the golf course and many, many other sports activities. So now we're walking downstairs past the living spaces and now we've got the second guest toilet. So of course we expect you to entertain a lot. So two guest toilets, why not? This is the door leading to the other double garage. And further down the corridor we'll find the fifth bedroom, also en suite. And this bedroom also comes with a door out into the garden and the ensuite bathroom, super high ceilings and aircon of course. And the last room I'm entering right here is the study area. Beautiful. Doesn't disappoint in the unique design again. Beautiful design, exactly. Look at that, air conditioning. So your windows and your door sliding doors open out onto the ample garden space and they look out into trees. So when you're sitting in the study, you could fit at least two desks here. So really everyone can enjoy working from home, looking out into the garden, quick step out, maybe enjoy sitting by the pool summertime and having a look at your magnificent house. And this is a very quiet street as well. It's a crescent. We don't have a main road here. So only people who are coming to their own houses will be driving down here. So your kids can go out and play and enjoy the space. And look at this. This design, beautiful. And it's just something, Marusha, we've talked about it before. Something can be said about houses of this magnitude this caliber and the lifestyle it provides at this time of the day it actually comes to life as soon as we have a bit of a sunset this thing is stunning 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 guys i hope you enjoyed the tour if you have any questions make sure to reach out marusha's details will be below this video make sure to leave a comment any questions you have we're more than happy to assist you as always thank you so much taking the time to watch this tour make sure to check out these tours on the side i think you're gonna love these as well have an awesome awesome afternoon